This is Shukriya Mohsini from Afghanistan, and I am doing my pre undergraduate program at Fiji University for Women. And I would like to thank uh, Sir Faiz and our teacher, uh, Sir Bashir, for their help helping me through, the, through this semester. I would like to thank you, um, Faiz, for your help during this uh, project and th this semester. And uh, I want to present my project right now. Uh, first, uh, for overview of my project, uh, the project is asking us uh, to make a system and then add the, um, and for the first part, they are uh, asking us to add the information of new clients in that specific system. And also no. for the second uh, second part of this project, uh, we have the uh, data of uh, the previous client, clients and then uh, they are asking us to um, store that information as well in that system. And for the, uh, the third part of our project, they are asking that uh, um, to do some, uh, like to count how many people are from each country and also their employed, employed status and whether they are a student or not in the, the third part. So, in the first part of our project, uh, first I'm uh, like asking that how many uh, clients information you wanna store, and then for example, the person is entering two, and then uh, according to that, I'm making I, I use a for loop to uh, it um, it it will iterate uh, that many times, and then there for each uh, specific uh, client, and then like uh, here. Um, and uh, like they are um storing the information of each client like the first name the last name and age and everything there and then they are uh for the first part they are um like pre printing the result for that right in the right hand side you can see the uh the result for example they have uh, entered uh the for example my my age my name and where i am from my employee status and other like nasarans uh, um information and for the output they're asking for name and the last name of that. And for the second part of our project, we have a, a path to a raw data that here um, uh, they are ask, uh, uh, we are adding uh, that um, raw data to our uh, our system and our list and we are uh, using F handle here and we are splitting all uh, for each line of that uh, uh, raw data we are splitting them by commas and it's uh, like stripping all the the um the spaces in the beginning and the end of that uh um, information uh in, in case it there if there are and then we are making a uh, we are uh, making a dictionary of the uh, keys and values that's the key could be the name the uh, the name the last name the age and then the values would be the the name of that person for example shukriya or like other like my last name of senior or age and then uh, we are using the zip file here to uh, store them for each one of them and then uh, for each uh, time that it's iterating like it is um, appending or adding that in uh, the uh, the client info to our user info or the main uh, system that we have and then uh, we are printing all the uh, users information in the this part for the third part of my, my project, uh, they are asking that how many people are from each countries. So uh, here uh, I am like uh, I made a um, dictionary for this that if the uh, users are from, uh, for example, uh, it will uh, go through all the lines of information that there are in the list, and then it will take out the countries of that uh, the people, and if that country again exists, it would increment in that part. And if it doesn't exist, it will uh, take a new, uh, it will make a new uh, like country name and then it will iterate for all the lines and there it will see the greater how many people are from each country. Like you can see in the uh, right, uh, left hand side, there is a, for example, there are like two papers from Afghanistan. I, as I like previously added my own name and Nasser and Sharifiyar's name here from Afghanistan. And then uh, for the other part of the project, uh, uh, I knew uh, like they are asking for employee employment status of that person, that all the clients, if they are, um, if they are, um, they are employed, it, if it was yes, it will uh, increment, uh, increment by one. It will go through all the whole. Uh, 
uh, client info that we have, and if they, they are yes, they will increment it, and also it will uh, do the same um, process for the student status of each person if there are students, and it will increment it one by one, and at the end, it's printing the result of that. I hope it was clear, and if there is any question, I'm here to answer. Firstly, uh, congratulations, Shakira, on your uh project. It's really great to see how your project came together. Uh, the first question mm -hmm. I'll have uh two questions. The first question I have is uh, uh, so in, in your start of project, you uh you take the input as one line and uh. uh and uh, you use uh, uh, this one specific line to kind of separate the info. It's v dot yes. strip for v into for v in info dot split. Can you just briefly explain what how this line separates the information? Okay. Uh, first, uh, we have to, uh, other ways also to take input from user, but uh, I'm here like taking all of them as a one string and splitting them by commas. We can split by everything. For example, I can use any other like characters to split them. And also here, when we split each each of them by that commas, and there might be some um, what we can call spaces in the if and uh, starting at the end of that and if through the strip uh, uh the strip for like function we are like cutting down that um that um what was that the, the spaces from uh, from it and uh, uh, we are storing them as a in in the in a list and through that in the the next part we are making a dictionary of that one and because in the in the lists we have indexing here yeah? and uh, we are uh, taking that uh, of each one of them in the list have index sort with from zero and then we are making a keys in that dictionary and for example the first name would be we will take the first one that we, the one that uh, its index is the zero and it will go on for all the informations that we have here. I hope it's clear. I hope yeah, it's definitely clear. And then my second and last question was uh, for age. I see that you do integer mm -hmm. information to dot strip. Uh, what was the reasoning behind uh, uh, using int function on the age? Yeah. Like as I told that the uh, I'm taking the information from the um, user as a string, and a string is a, a, a series of characters, but integer is a uh, different with that integer fruit we have. So because the age is an, an integer, a number, so that's why I'm using a int, int function here to like, oh, int here to, in order to make that a string uh, to uh, an integer. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you so um, much. If there are any other questions in other parts, that's would be great. Thank you, Shukriya. Thank you, Faris. Uh, Shukriya, I want to ask you uh, about your uh, future plans after graduation from Women in Tech program. Uh, actually, as I told, like I am doing my pre undergraduate pro uh, program here, uh, and I still didn't start my my own major and like I was I when I joined this class I was thinking if I could handle the computer science so that's why like it it gives me a, a very good uh, like perspective about what I'm going to do in the future and definitely I would choose the CS as my major and I hope to after graduation uh, from here I will it gives me a very good perspective and I will choose my major the computer science as my major and I wanna really want to work at Google it's like my big dream to work there. <laughs> like this course gives me very, very good information. Like, and it give it, like it opens that the way that like how like how I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do in the future, and it was a big a great experience for me. Thank you. <laughs>